Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to 5-7, check out some more storyline goodness. Maybe we'll be able to learn a little more about Blackwell. Here we go. Well, it is titled Delphi, so that is all... Well, this is confidential. Uh, this is not at all going to go on the internet. I promise you, this video that I'm making right now will not go to my YouTube channel. Don't worry. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I have a feeling this research that he's doing is not the kind of research that will help humanity, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this could get a little bit emotional for Angie, given that uh, she's sort of facing up against her dad, as we found out in the last part. So, it's like... It's a pretty tough thing for her, to say the least. Especially since, uh... He pretty much ditched her and, you know, the whole family 13 years ago. Hey, she's actually looking pretty good. Well, we kind of did, and that was the whole idea. <laughs> Looks like she wants to come along with us anyway. <laughs> She's a lot stronger than I am. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're going in with her. You're welcome. Come to think that you are a pretty good assistant giving me my tools whenever I need them, so I don't think you could easily be replaced by just anyone. <laughs> I'm getting a little teary-eyed. I'm sorry, Angie. I'm such a girl. <laughs> and now we know the backstory behind it. Well, providing that you could read that fast. As I always say before, I'm a really, really fast reader. So, if you ever have any issues reading something, just rewind the, rewind the video or pause the video as you go. Uh, it, it's I think my fast reading is actually pretty good for walkthroughs, to be honest. Because of the fact that otherwise I would be, you know, waiting around for each of these little text blurbs here. <laughs> While some people would just be like, hey! I want to go to those operations soon enough. Well, that's partially why I put the timestamps in the video descriptions as well. You know, that you can just seek to the video at those points. All right, we're going in. Wow, that's really off the map. <laughs> oh, this place looks pretty ominous. Oh boy. Alright, get the hazmat suits. Uh-huh. The researcher here is infected with Gil, that's odd. Uh-oh. Help Professor Blackwell. What? Things are taking an interesting turn, I have to say. And this is going to be another new kind of guilt operation here. Uh, they don't reveal the name of it just yet, so I'm not going to say the name of it, but the next operation after this one will give you the name of the guilt. This is the, the guilt in its 
smaller infant stage, basically. Anyway, let's get this started. It's an unknown infection as of right now, as I said. But don't worry, this one is extremely easy. You don't have to worry about it at all. It's mostly a laser and, um... In fact, wait, it's actually... Everything is laser and the sutures, so... Uh, you'll see as it goes. Uh, whenever you see a cut appear, just laser right in the center of the cut and follow the little bugs as they come out, and you'll laser them as soon as they pop out. Uh, what you want... What you want to do is try and... Let's begin the operation. Destroy them before they... Before five of them combine into a blue one, which will cause a vital cap of 70, and if there's two blue ones around, the vitals will be capped at 30. Or is it 35? I don't quite remember, but I'm not going to take that risk, and neither should you. You, wanna, you want to take care of these critters as fast as humanly possible. Now, these cuts right here, you can just uh, suture as, as normal. But first, get the vitals up, and now get your laser. Wait for a cut. See that? The laser, I mean, uh, the bugs appear right in the middle of those cuts, so you know exactly where they're going to appear. And they always, well, okay, oh shoot, that one's going to turn into a blue one. It's sometimes very, very hard to prevent them from turning into a blue one. Oh, maybe, wow, that, that really lowers the vitals. <laughs> Uh, but as you see, this isn't, these things don't really do a lot of damage, so you can just leave them to do whatever the heck they want to most of the time, honestly. <laughs> it's actually these cuts that do the most damage. Like, you see, you see them nibbling into the organ, like you see those little blood, blood spurts that appear they bite into, but it's just, they don't do very much, so that's why this operation is really easy. But, in order to get an XS rank, you can't let any of those blue ones form. I believe in order to do that, you pretty much have to use the Healing Touch. And, uh, otherwise, it's a, a, pure li a pure luck battle here in preventing those blue ones from forming. Or, you know, them being a super annoying full-on infestation like you've seen there. But as you've seen, it's, it's not hard to control in the slightest because those things aren't even threatening. But in the next operation, where we got the mature version of this critter, ooh, they, oh boy, <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just say that. <laughs> I don't want to spoil why that is, but the operation was successful, and I knew it would be. The rank is going to be pretty bad, I think, or not. <laughs> I should know better. Whenever I say something is bad, it's gonna be good. Or at least that's just how things have been going in this. Oh, I'm clicking through the text way too fast here. See, uh, what I do is I actually read the words as they're typing up on the screen. Anyway, next operation. And this is a big favorite of people. This is like the boss guilt of all guilt. The final guilt in the game here. Let's go. Death awaits all. A terrible name, <laughs> but an epic operation. Ugh, I'm so excited. What? He's here. So that's what he looks like. But it's never too late. Come on now. Don't be preposterous. Oh, uh, quick fun fact here. Do not, and I mean do not, use the healing touch until the very, very end of the operation. Otherwise, you will pretty much automatically lose this because you need that one healing touch you're given in order to beat this operation. You must use it at the right time. Don't worry, I'll show you when. It's not a big deal. Well, I, I, the name of the guilt is Savato. He just uh, spilled the beans on that now. So Savato is the ultimate guilt. And we are going to take it out. I would like to know that. That would, yeah, including her. Is he like, ah, he, he didn't recognize her at first because she was probably a kid at the time. You don't look like a ghost, you look pretty solid to me.
As a doctor, neither will I. Oh, come on now. We can take it out. Don't be preposterous. Here we go. It's st it still says unknown infection detected, but he already called it Savato. That doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be a open heart surgery, and this guilt actually um, takes the host energy from the heartbeat and adds it to its own. That's how it survives, and that's how it also kills the patient. It, it steals their very life energy. And here's another funny thing, well, not, not, not another funny thing, this is the first funny thing about this, is that um, there's actually a glitch in that you are able to, well, I'll show you as we go, because if I say it now, I'll spoil the entrance to this thing. <laughs> Yeah, if he uh, dies, he can't pay for his sins. <laughs> anyway, here we go! Silence. No music. Let's begin. Super epic music entrance. Yeah, I can't help but love this song. <laughs> so here's the glitch I was talking about. Now, normally when you're cutting these threads here, you have to use your scalpel. Well, Angie, <laughs> stop interrupting me. This is an epic battle and I need to take care of this. No. Yeah, these webs are, it's nest and that's what steals the life energy from the heartbeat there. Now, if you try cutting it with the scalpel or lasering it, it, it'll dash on over to another place and you won't be able to do so. Here, I'll show you. Just uh, And what you want to do here is cut the threads like between where they intersect so you hit two threads at the same time. Uh, that makes things a whole lot easier because you weaken other threads as you are cutting one thread off. And now, here's the glitch that I was talking about here. When you're cutting two threads at the same time, if you use like the healing touch and then switch between pressing the A button and the healing touch Z button like that what what you can do is actually cut the web as if you had a scalpel still like supposedly the scalpel melts because of these webs maybe they're like super acidic or something like that but I don't know um, but it seems like you don't have a scalpel but this glitch allows you to have another scalpel <laughs> Doesn't make any sense in the game's context, but that's the glitch. And I just thought I would show you that. I'm not gonna be use or say I'm not gonna be abusing this because you know it is a glitch and I don't like to use them. I just wanted to show you the glitch for the fact of showing you the glitch. Now I'm just gonna do it for the fun of it. I'll just twitch him around there. <laughs> just for the fun of it. Uh, distracting him like this will prevent him or say lower the chance of him making more webs and those little tiny Savato critters. The infant Savatos, and then you know you want to laser them as they go. Otherwise, you don't. Otherwise, those blue ones will appear, and they'll cause some trouble because they'll make those vital caps. Yeah, and you just don't want those kind of issues to arise. Otherwise, this first phase is pretty easy. Of this fun. Oh, <laughs> this final boss. I almost had that too. Yeah, there we go. Go 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 go. We have to catch it. We have to move five inches up. <laughs> <laughs> it just never make, made much sense there, that, that you have to shift so far away, you know, because it, 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 they, they make, it like, make it seem like you have to move so far away from where you were in the dialogue that it's just laughable. <laughs> I mean, you know the heart is not that big of an organ, and yeah, maybe it's because it's, we're blowing up the area, you know, enlarging the picture here with a camera zoom or something like that. <laughs> We're in macro mode here. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. And now we gotta start lasering it. That that uh, f purple flamey flame on its back there is its um, uh, shield, so to speak. Okay, it's its corrosive protective layer. That's what she calls it. I call it its shield. <laughs> protective is is a shield makes sense to me and just keep lasering it now it's gonna start to do other attacks like this it's got that and it's got a triple cut 
uh, both are pretty annoying. That singular cut there uh, will create those little baby savatos there, and you gotta laser them as they pop out. There's the triple cut. These are pretty annoying because you just gotta get them sutured up quickly. Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Must keep from bleeding out. Must raise vitals. Uh, this boss isn't really all that hard uh, in the Trauma Center second opinion, but in the original game, uh, Savato is almost unfair in that sometimes it is impossible or seemingly impossible to prevent the patient from dying because it gets so out of control. So the handheld version of this game uh, is a whole lot harder in this boss fight than anything. Anyway, just cut it with your scalpel. Once you get rid of its shield, I was gonna, I was gonna suture these things up first, but I guess I should leave a couple cuts just so I can raise the vials before we switch the camera back over five inches south. <laughs> there we go, and here we are. Just keep lasering, no problem. Easy boss, but still pretty epic, I have to say. You know, with the music and the. Yeah, it make, makes sense to have a boss like this as a final boss. I should say a guilt like this as a final boss. I mean, it's just... The whole concept behind it is very, very creepy. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a spider that makes a web around your heart and actually steals your very pulse for its own energy. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Almost morbid, actually. If you think about it, but it's not like looking at it doesn't like, intimidate you or anything like that. It's just a four-armed spider. It almost looks like sci-fi mechanical spider thingy. I don't know. Oh, also I should mention, try not to let your laser run out if you can, because you know you want to get rid of those bugs, uh, baby infant savados as they come out, whatever you want to call them, uh, so they don't make those blue ones. And I let it go out. Arr! I mean, I let my laser run out. That's all right. That is all right. <laughs> uh, there was just like no need for any accents there, but it just happened. I can't prevent my randomness. Oh man. <laughs> uh, that's the issue in the game. The, the DS version of this game is that it can sometimes create two blue Savatos at the same time with having a load of those baby Savatos, and that drops the vital cap down to 30, and then what happens is that it'll do like two two of those triple cuts in a row, and then it'll be like instant death for the patient, and that's what's so unfair about the DS version, but I'm glad they fixed that in the uh, Wii version here. Uh, it, it made the, uh, this boss battle a whole lot more balanced, and I let the laser run out again. Dang it! <laughs> but that's okay, and no, nothing bad came out of it. Uh-oh, there we go. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Look at the babies. Always take care of the babies. Babies are more threatening than the parents. <laughs> no, 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 no. There we go. And do not form a blue one while in this cutscene, or actually just after the cutscene. Now he's going to give me this black serum here, which is what we're going to be using in the next part. Uh, this is going to be like the final phase of it, basically basically that's coming up here, so let's get prepared, yeah, it's in the um, <clears throat> syringe, as expected, just like the Tatarti, my stitching powers are terrible, <laughs> and just do this phase just like the other ones, not all that hard, as long as you keep it under control, make some, I guess, oh, that's another thing that's morbid, is that when it cuts into the heart, you'll notice that the babies come out of that cut, which indicates that they're actually inside the heart. You know, it's releasing them from the heart. That's uh, kind of gross. <laughs> it's like they're some sort of nasty breeding parasite there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm surprised no blue ones have formed yet, but I think I could be speaking too soon. Hopefully that's not the case. Ah, very good. And I'll cut it. And now what you want to do is get the black serum, stick it, and it's going to do a super cut! And healing touch will automatically happen. Now what you want to do is get your healing touch and do it now. Yeah, it's a double healing touch. And it'll stop time completely. Look at the time limit up at the upper right corner there. Just take your time to heal these up if you want to. I believe, actually, if you don't heal these, it will... Um, 
automatically be healed after you inject it with the serum one last time. The reason why you have to stop time like this, or I should say Derek has to stop time like this, is because it goes way, way, way too fast for you to be able to do, to do anything to it. And... Whoa! Even when stopping time, it can still move like crazy! Voila! And that's how you defeat Savato. That went pretty dang well. See, it's not that hard, but it's pretty dang epic. Whew! You're welcome, Angie. And... Band-Aid. I really shouldn't be that loud. It's like one in the morning here when I'm making this part. <laughs> but there's like two doors separating me from my sleeping grandpa, so I don't think that that's going to be too much of a problem, I hope. <laughs> a rank for the win! Whew. It's okay, Angie. Do you want a hug? Because I'll hug you if you want. You can cry. Even men cry. Real men cry. Chuck Norris cries manly tears. And I think that's how I'm going to end off this part. I'll do uh, Z5 here in the next part, because this part's going on for quite a while. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.